All right, guys, welcome back to our third installment of the race recap. Today, we're going to be breaking down round two of the AMA Supermoto Championship in Erie, Colorado, about 15 minutes north of Denver at the IMI Motorsports Complex. It was initially scheduled to be at CNS, but with the weather that Denver had the week leading up to it, it made CNS actually cancel a race on, uh, I think, Wednesday before the event. IMI was cool enough to let round two go there. It was initially scheduled to be round three, so we we're going to have a double header at IMI. And initially, that didn't sound bad because IMI offers five different layouts for supermoto bikes, and it could be a great time. Unfortunately, the rain made it to where the dirt section was unrideable. Me and our normal co-host, Simpy Samp, were the ones that tried that out and both wadded as soon as we touched the dirt. And uh, that was about the end of the dirt section for the day and ultimately for the weekend. But today we got, we're going to be breaking down the 450s and we brought on a special guest, none other than another shredder that I've got to watch grow up in Dawson Schaefer. Hello. Is it Schaefer? Schiffer? Schiefer. Schiefer. Not? Schiefer. Yeah, close enough. And always we got producer Johnny on the boards doing yo. all the editing. Yo, yo. Making it awesome. All right, guys. So uh, Dawson and Simpy and Johnny, we've all got to ride IMI before because it's part of the Colorado Supermoto Series. It's kind of a local, I guess, all of our local-ish Supermoto Championship. Dawson's like six hours for you. It's about six hours from us from New Mexico. Yeah, pretty close. So mine's a lot more twisty, turvy roads. <laughs> Yeah, you got the well. You get to drive through the Black Hills. Oh, poor you! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it has its perks, but driving through them is not one of them. It's like twisty, <laughs> turny, and then in a van <laughs> while Pat's driving, it's you're on the edge of your seat the whole way up there. Dawson, do you have a local supermoto track near you? Uh, I do not. I'm is about the closest one. Well, I've seen you guys practice in like the what is it, the Harley? Park oh lot. yeah way back when terry was part of harley davidson we used to go and ride there and then a little bit at the uh, fairgrounds with Braithausen. noise yeah, yeah always bad brad and dawson i feel like there's like a rivalry and not a rivalry with you two uh, i don't think there is <laughs> I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure both of us like want to meet each other. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> neither one of us do. I think. Right, I think so... I got him in the flat track part of that. Hmm. Interesting, because he's the one that like you got that smooth style, even though you come from flat track. And he, when you watch him, you go like, he's a flat tracker. When you watch mm -hmm. you, you're just like talented. Yeah, somewhat. <laughs> Try to be. <laughs> I mean, that's not that's not a diss on Brady. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, so to set it up for the weekend on Friday, the dirt sections looked mint. They were wet. The outside one dried out the day before. We were able to ride it some. It was looking great. Weather-wise, we show up on Saturday. It's already sprinkling. Dirt's already getting soggy. And then it just pretty much doesn't stop all day. So we had a bit of a rain delay. We all swapped to rains. And in qualifying, Reimer set the pace by going about two and a half seconds faster than any of us and did a 58, which I think the lap record at RMI is around a 55 or a 54 in the dry. So that was damn impressive. And it was followed by me, second on the grid, Pecorero third, Towson fourth, Dawson fifth, Simpy sixth, Buffum seventh, Sequino eighth, and Sketchballs Mike Eller and rounding out the end of the grid. So you guys ready to watch some racing? Let's do it. Jamie, pull it up. Dude, I'm ready. Okay, you ready? Oh, ready. I'm so ready. Let's watch some dirt biking. Dirt biking. Johnny, you ready? Guys, yep. Dawson, you ready? All ready. Let's go, Power Rangers. Let's go. <laughs> Good old Ron Reed. Ready. 
you can see there's still a little bit of air left in my tire. No, I think this moto you were good. Yeah, I thought it was second moto. This was the this was the first moto. Oh, your tire, your tire was still fresh. You were fresh off your first ever moto win. Yeah. First up. Two fifty pro lights win. Just making moves out here, you know, just living the dream. I think Austin and Nick might have been the only ones on fresh rains. The rest was raw on you stuff. I've had nothing but poor performances in Open Pro. <laughs> oh, look at that whole shot. That's bold. Oh, that was beautiful to watch. Rare hole shot out of me. Brady started really good on day one. Yeah, he did. Dawson, you snuck through those first few corners clean. Yeah, pretty sure Austin blew that first corner. And oh, it wow. Right Brady, Brady really blew that. Lost <laughs> three positions that corner. Yeah. Look at the picture out of stud. The middle school picture? <laughs> <laughs> The mustache one it was like dark and you're looking uh, at Ah, that's a bummer. Tried it, it didn't work. Dawson, it's been a minute since you got to ride with Nick, hasn't it? Oh yeah, since like, I want to say four or five years ago. It's been a long time. Yeah, he's really picked it up now. It's Yeah. It's impressive. And instead of his flashy old style that he used to have, where he's super loose now, he's like real yep. on the bike. Not got busy. That, got that GP experience. Yeah. You guys were checked out. Yeah, I couldn't believe it in the after qualifying, looking at the time and seeing that Nick was that many seconds faster. I was like, really? I didn't feel like I was going that bad in the wet qualifying, but we're also, he's been riding, racing in the rain. We don't get that opportunity all that often, but damn, it is fun. It's a good time riding in the wets like this when you're on the full reins and stuff. It's, it's, you can really charge pretty hard. You just have to be really accurate, like on how you pressure your brakes, how you load your throttle. Everything has to get extended out. Mm -hmm. This was my first rain race, really. I don't really count Wisconsin because we only did like one lap. Yeah. Yeah. I was say, last time I think I raced in rain was Wisconsin, and that was a long time ago. I could just hear Nick's bike on me. The thing was so loud, I thought he was really in me that whole last lap. It wasn't right until the end that he was really in me. What? Yep. He was in me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll try to, let's see if we can follow his pace. Let's... Got that big board kit down the straightaway. <laughs> Pulling those shifts. Yeah. That, that mud, second lap that we did, that was my fastest lap in the race. Go right way to make past the bronze that lap. He was pushing all downhill. You got someone to chase. It was all, yeah, it was all downhill from there. We thought maybe <laughs> I'd take it back up after I got to see his lines. No. No. Alright, you guys are so far checked out. Great and awesome, though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they were connected for the whole race. Sippy, you're ahead of Buffum on the 450 right now? Yo. I, I felt so bad for my 250 after that weekend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you didn't get to ride the 450 because you were nice enough to give your rain tires for the 450 over to our buddy Cameron. He came up the race lights class. It's alright. And you started I mean, off this day on a fresh rain rear, day. Yeah. Very nice. Nothing hooked up. Insane. Fresh tires are always best. Yeah. Damn. Nick's gonna. <laughs> do, you think, do you guys think there's a chance that Nick goes like Jet Lawrence on us and Super <laughs> this year? Just, yeah. Don't beat him. Or like. Oh. The dirt might be... I don't know. 
I think I think he might have his number at Surgis. Yeah, we'll try. Gonna get his head. Oh, the all dirt, the all dirt should help me. Yeah, a little bit. I hope. We'll see. See, they got asphalt jumps over there on the GP side. <laughs> I think he eventually, is this the one where he eventually passes me? I think you go down here. Oh, oh is this, this the, that this moto? The uh, or nor? It might have been the old uh, seal strip gotcha. Tragic. Get hot, Dawson. You know, where'd you get those leather? <laughs> Funny story is uh, I bought those leathers uh, like two years ago and then was going to wear them at the Black Hills half mile and I ended up destroying my knee <laughs> the day before and I just got those leathers. So those have never been worn. Wow. You know. So you destroy your knee in those or doing no, other stuff? No, I got them the day before I destroyed my knee. Oh no, I'm already looking back halfway through. <laughs> Is this when the ball tire came in? I mean, my tire definitely wasn't good already, but I, I, it still felt fine. But I know if my dad, when I was young, if he saw me look back on the track, he'd be like, what? Oh, yeah. I think I wanted to know, and I, I saw a little bit of a gap, and I was like, okay. You're safe. Reimer, hit, he had set his fastest lap of the race, which was exactly to the tenths the same time, or to the hundredths the same time he did in qualifying in this race. He did another 58.71. It's name. I got it. When was your first Supercard race, Dawson? I want to say, like, the first time I remember seeing you was around, like, 30, 2013 or so. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, I want to say it was actually. I want to say it was. I think you're right. I'm pretty sure you're right. Like my first actual national, I'm pretty sure was. Oh gosh, Wisconsin. I don't know if that was true or not, but it feels like it was around Wisconsin. Have you ever done two fifties? No. I think I. I don't. I haven't rode 250 since. It's like Didn't you run the 250 in the app? Oh no, you ran a 450 in the Yeah. Those Suzuki. You raced, you raced my 250 once in uh, Colorado. I don't remember. Probably happened. Oh, at the Speedway? Yep. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah. Yeah, your bike broke and then you beat Lauren yep. and uh, Lauren was not happy. No. No. Can't let a girl beat me. I already get beat bad enough. <laughs> she wasn't happy that the kid beat her. No. Hi, Nick. Man, he just looks so sweet. It doesn't even look like we're going fast. Oh, just out for a Sunday stroll. We're setting like the fastest laps of the weekend. <laughs> and we just... Uh, you look nicer. A little jig will come out on the straight. Dude. I was afraid of losing the rear every lap in that corner. What were you on? The uh, Michelin's or uh, uh, I had a Metzler on. Oh, so it was Cherry. What? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Simpy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it, Simpy, if this is going to be the lap you lose, it's going to be because you look bad. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I was holding Charlie up a little, or he got kind of stuck in a 250 pace a little bit. You know what's interesting is this this last lap that we just did was both you guys' fastest lap of the race. Oh. Or nor. I figured you'd still be tired after oh, the 250. Oh, man, he hit me with the oh, zoom no. in and everything, too. <laughs> 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 you put Charlie out in the weird. Dirt. Dude, that was a shower of sparks coming off your bike. Or the, the titanium pegs. 
<laughs> that are now shredded. I think Dawson was reeling you in here. Yeah, no, Dawson was reeling me, and I was like, I was starting to sweat it. We're like eight laps in. Yeah, we yeah. still got a good amount of race to go, and he's closed the gap. I think I had to start picking up. I think I relaxed a little bit too long, and then I noticed him coming again, and I waked back up a little bit. Yeah, I was putting in his charge. We got good old sketch balls. Hey, Nate Supermoto's winning this amateur. Finally running the pro class. Won, I think, four amateur national titles, and uh, got protest enough to where they were like, yeah, you can't run amateur. Zimby, that was one of your first high speed falls on the asphalt. Oh yeah. It is, isn't it? Huh. Yeah. And those low sides go like that. It's that's the way to have them. Oh yeah, dude, it was a perfect crouch. Like I, I don't think I got even a little bit of road rash on me anywhere. What about your hands? Nope. So? Yeah. So I pretty much went like shoulder to back, so I had armor wow. in all the spots, so it was perfect. Austin and Brady. Yeah. <laughs> They, they are locked in the whole race. Dude, it's so fun to be behind Brady because he's just always sideways. Oh, it's so just yours. Nice. Combing through this footage, like watching Brady ride, he has so much more lean angle than most people, and his lines are a lot wider. Look like Mark Marquez out there. Yeah. <laughs> Shoulder on the ground. Letting the Honda eat. White flag. Yeah. I think this is when I gave up on trying to catch you. Never give up, Dawson. <laughs> Never give up. I'm pretty sure this is when I had a hand cramp start. <laughs> <laughs> gasping for air. Nice thing about this one, this is it was it was wet, but we weren't like soaking wet, you know. Yeah. This was a fun day. <laughs> it would have yes. been way cool if we got the dirt though. It was oh, so oh. perfect it, when I went was, out for pro lights. Yeah, it was. It and the work they they, they did going into both those dirt sections to have because the plan was to run both dirt sections if it was possible and running the combined lap with both dirt sections is a really epic experience at this track. Double checkers. Whoop whoop. Nikki Rymer with the win, folks. I always had to chill and my last laps were slow just to make sure I had room to like throw it up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> always throw a wheelie for the boys. What the hell, Dawson? Where's the oh, wheelie? I was I was out of breath. <laughs> Look at these two <laughs> to the line. Austin. He had to come off the track. I didn't know their race was that close. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, you fell, so that definitely threw you and Buff quite a ways back. Yeah. And I'm not sure what happened to Sequino in that one, why he DNF'd halfway through. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think he ran the second. Portion. I don't think so. I know he was healthy, so. But yeah, that was... Oh, we got uh, oh, Ryan's go. little brother. Oh, He's yeah. He's literally doing the gritty <laughs> off the quid, guys. Not the gritty. <laughs> it's good to have Zach with us at the race. Yeah, your tire don't look right right now, Sippy. Yeah, something's weird with it. I don't know what's going on. Were, were people telling you anything? Did yeah, you know? um, uh, Shondell came over and was like, dude, your tire's flat. You know that, right? I, like, <laughs> I, I, I did not know that. <laughs> Still going to line up. Oh, look at uh, that. Brad almost looked like, oh, he, he's going to get it. Look at this dude. Dude, he came around me, peg in the ground, dude. sideways, and then Nick didn't, he, Nick didn't even know he was there. Like, he tips in the next corner and Brady's there. Like, really wasn't like Brady's fault necessarily or like Nick's fault. Uh, it was just racing. I love <laughs> the Brady. look back here yeah, where he's just like, like uh, I did. <laughs> 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 keep going, buddy. Keep going. I wasn't you're, mad. I was like, yeah, dude, chill, right. Brady. Let me get back on you. <laughs> let me pass you, and then we can get going. 
I had to take that start so slow because I didn't want to spin the tire and rip my tube. So oh, it was yeah. like nice this and easy is... on the start. I'm just like rolling around the track right now. This That's is awesome. the best. This is the best part. I was like, oh man, Nikki's behind me. It's a free game. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna Let's do what watch. I did first, Moto? Let's try you to know? follow him and then like, yep. like, oh, he's gone. I'll let Nikki make the moves and I'll just follow behind and go from there. Dude, if you were to help off for two laps. Oh you... yeah. I didn't know there was you might have helped. You might have helped me win in the overall, dude. Yeah, I didn't think about that in the long oh, run. Oh, dude, I just had a power wheelie out of one there. Oh. Wait. Dude, riding in the rain like that—that that makes riding asphalt only fun. I don't know how people can ride asphalt only. Yeah. All the time, but when it's wet, at least it adds some technicality to it. Makes it a good time. Mm. Then we just watch him. Brad just slide around you. When you're right behind him, oh, that is. Oh, and then this was the moto I messed up. I didn't turn on my GoPro. Oh, wait a Way to go. Yeah. Like, I should oh. know better. Is I that sketch calls? Two, three minutes out, yeah. That is sketch calls. Um. You know from coming to Colorado series, you gotta be careful when you get around sketch calls. Especially in the dirt. Easy for you. Yeah, I know. Just slide out of the way. I don't have to put effort into it. Dude, how's loose Brady is coming out of the corners and it's just like, mm -hmm. it it makes me jealous. I want to be able to ride and be that cool on the bike, but it's also just makes me be like, dude, you're going to crash. <laughs> yeah. Cool. A little Bye, bit Brady. of front tuck. Yeah, his, his front gave out a little bit right there. Just went right by. And I'm pretty sure he was on an old set of reins too, so that didn't help his cause any. Yeah, but if you're looking at like Butters' lines compared to Brady's, Man. he's so much tighter. Or Butters is so much tighter than Brady. Mm -hmm. hmm. I try to let Apex my corners, but it's always one of those mental battles while you're, while you're doing it. Like your mind's telling you to turn in, turn in. You're trying to be like, not yet, not yet, not yet. No, it looks, <laughs> it looks efficient. Yeah. Like, look, look at turn one right now. Nikki's moving. Yeah, I'm already across the seam. But Dude. that that seam, I was scared of that seam, so I was definitely yeah. turning early into one, but in the wet because I just thought I didn't want that seam to be what broke traction for me. You know, it would upset the bike so much going across. Dude, I can't it. believe we're a couple laps in and Nick is already Lap up four. to third. Yeah, third, right there. Right yeah. there. Cause I got out to the lead and I was like, all right, cool. I'm like third on cruise. I felt myself getting a little bit of a gap pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And I thought like, that sucks for Nick, but right on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to win this thing. <laughs> Again, my fastest lap was that second lap we went around when I got the lead. Yeah. Brady was just glued on you. Mm -hmm. I think he pulled my tactic and let you go by so he could follow. Uh, I hope Brady fights him more than you did, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think he does. I think that's that's how Brady's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> His teammate didn't make it hard on him either. No. I just saw myself take a peek back. Man, gotta stop that. Dude, Austin has sweet slides. Uh. Oh, they didn't make it a challenge. Brady. <laughs> <laughs> That's that South right, so Dakota race. So we're we're halfway through the race now, and Nick's pretty much up to me now. Cause I heard I heard a bike on me because Brady was on me the lap before, and I got a little bit of a break going, and then all of a sudden, I hear a bike on me again. I'm like, damn, there's no way it's Nick. Oh, this is when Austin tried to cut me off. Oh yeah, he held and me I, tight. He I like, tried to no, push oh. him. I tried to push him deep into a corner to see if I <laughs> get him to overbreak, and that's where I got him. 
That's kind of how I passed uh, buff them in lights. Yeah. In that corner, in that horseshoe corner. Yeah, there's a loudness. Nick was on his uh, B bike because uh, I'm not sure what problems he was having with his other bike or if it was just the rain setup was already on the B bike. I'm not sure. But that bike is loud. I did click on my GoPro for a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I had to get him slow. I couldn't, because like, I, I, I didn't think it was Nick after seeing him go down that first, there that second yeah. corner, you know? I was like, no way. Already. I love that back straight where you can like back it into that corner. That's so good. And this was after, so for mid break, for lunch break in between motos, everyone was already starting to realize we're going to be rough on tires. Simpy, he had a flat tire because he had switched tires because his tire was gone from brand new to nothing in a couple motos. And so he had swapped to a different tire. But Jeff at Toxic had sold out of all the tires that he had brought. He sold Everyone was by the middle of 450 Moto 1. That's yeah. It was. it was nuts. Yeah, when he asked me earlier in the day, he was like, are you good? And I was like, no, nah, I think I'm going to have to get a say. He was like, well, let me know as soon as you can. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I missed out. This moto, my tire was gone. That double apex right-hander, that horseshoe in the middle of the track was so sketchy. Yeah, that tire was just If you had time, do you think it would have been better if you went out on slicks on this uh, This one, this moto, it was still too wet. Yeah. And because, Wait. so we got out first after the like intermission break between moto one and moto two because we had a, Alex got everyone together, had a riders meeting, kind of got a consensus on what we wanted to do. If we wanted to call it a day, try to save tires for the next day or what we wanted to do. We all decided that we were going to finish out the day and then cut slicks, do whatever we had to do for the next day. Just figure it out then and get both our motos in and really do the full race stuff. And a lot of guys were looking to switch tires like Ryan. So, but most of the open pro guys were pretty much ready to go, so they threw us out first just to keep stuff moving. And it was starting to get a dry line because the sun was starting to peak out, and this was where it was kind of like, Ugh, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Brady, Brady's <laughs> never going to let you uh, buy. No. <laughs> the only way I was going to do it is if I ran it up underneath him. That's uh, the dude. only way he's going to let just, me go by. Uh, I could watch Brady ride all day. Just sparks, yep. sideways, yep. entering the corner, exiting the corner. He's sideways. Yep. Oh, look at that inside yeah. dive, dude. That's, that's, that's a light. And you made that work, too. I don't know how, like, it's far it doesn't inside. look like much when Nick's past me going to the inside of that corner. But that, that corner is very hard to judge. And if you've ridden yeah. it, you know what I mean. And dry it's and hard water. to hold to run that inside line in in the dry and yeah. really feel like the bike's gonna stick so to do it in the wet is a pretty ballsy move just straight up and down i just had faith <laughs> <laughs> and ryan you probably did a couple laps on that tire and, or you pulled in it looked like you did four laps in total you pulled in got some air in it went back out for a couple laps and we're like this tire is no good compared to what yeah. you were running on yeah it was garbage garbage because i had, this is the one where i swapped with cameron right mm -hmm. so this is the spare set that i brought and i swapped kind of stolen from cameron um but tried it and i guess they were just old or something but yeah they felt like garbage but luckily timmy v came through and gave me a set for the rest of the weekend so that came in pretty clutch yeah speaking of timmy v it was a bit of a bummer to see a lot of the colorado guys not show up for the local race yeah, I mean, there's some fast Colorado guys too. Yeah, and I know a couple of them. Like, I mean, Timmy 
has his beefs with uh, Alex and stuff. And Was this one? Another one, Keegan. You've raced with Keegan yep. and stuff. He had, uh, I'd heard he hurt his knee or his ankle, something like that. But then I also heard that he went out riding enduro bikes with Koi on this weekend too. So it was like, well, I'm too hurt to go ride, but they were out riding yeah. with them. Like, all right, guys, come on. That's probably going to hurt your knee more. You can fly. Like riding supermoto on asphalt. Flat foot in the pit. I thought I thought Dawson was way closer on that last lap. Yeah, I put in a charge, and then I'm pretty sure you picked it up a little bit, <laughs> and that kind of defeated me. I was like, well, I don't think I'm gonna get him. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's funny how much of a mind game it is. Like if you got that blood in the water, and you're like uh -huh. catching them, then it keeps you motivated. But as soon as it like if that yeah. guy picks it up and like and you're putting in the effort and they pull yeah. away you're just like yeah and like i think my tire is kind of getting shot i was like i don't want to end up high siding either dude the last lap of this one i ran out and touched the grass I'm like oh, no, I spun up. yeah yeah I, I was like still going because i thought you were right there and then i like kind of looked back and like okay well he's not right there and i just almost died you yep. <laughs> I remember seeing that, and I was like, no way. I thought you were going to, like, loop it out. Number two for Nick. These were a little closer this time. Well, I mean, he came from last, so. Good Again. podium, good podium. Brady and Austin were right Ooh, there. Yeah. yeah, Austin caught Brady because Austin was quite a ways behind Brady. Yeah. Oh, the Zach Master making important business wheel. calls. <laughs> He's like, yeah, my brother... Uh, Ryan, he uh, DNF the race. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Cancel the contract. He's he's <laughs> trash. He <laughs> for the street. <laughs> uh, there's a big gap. Yeah. Yeah. Open Pro has not been kind to me this year. Well, you weren't even out there, so I think Buffum, he just yeah. had no one to ride with, so he's just out there cutting laps. Yeah, and sketch balls but, is just surviving. Yeah, I mean, it, but it happens like that sometimes. I mean, sometimes the races are super exciting. Sometimes they're more boring. Yeah, We're seeing it a bit in the outdoors right now in the 450 class with Jet. 250 class is interesting to watch for Promoto. All right, Dawson. So when what do you recall what your first Supermoto was? I, I don't. I it, the only thing I could think of is when it came through Sturgis. I don't know if I was racing super. Like, yeah, you I mean, remember the first year we did Sturgis was thirteen. Yeah, but you remember when it was at the football field? Yeah. I think that, in reality, was like my real first no, one, other than no, IMI. You've been doing them. Yeah, but I don't. I can't remember where. I I would say Colorado, but I remember seeing you and Brady at a. I want to say like maybe 2014 state line and oh stuff. and the you guys were both young like you both barely fit 250fs yeah, and stuff lighting. and i remember just watching a class and these two young groms were just out there and they're you guys were backing in the corners i'm like who are these young kids like, these dudes look sick and i don't know that like 2014 how old would you have been Good question. I don't have my home right now. 22? <laughs> Do some math real quick. Hold on. <laughs> let me crunch know. some numbers. Yeah, let me, let me crunch the numbers real quick. <laughs> quick math. <laughs> yeah, I meant 12, 13. It didn't even give us one answer. It's around that time frame. We'll go with 13. We'll go with 13 out there. Nice. Maybe 12 and a half. But yeah, I forgot about that. That was a long well, time ago. Because you were you were always flat track kid yep. from like minis, right? Yeah. I think that... I'm pretty sure that might have been the first time. I think you're right. Because I had the Suzuki 250 that I converted from flat track. Hmm. 
I'm going to put some photos up. So Dawson, with you being a flat tracker, what was like in your mind, was there between flat track and supermoto, was there one that you enjoyed more? Supermoto has always been something you get like less exposure. There's less emphasis on it. It's much more of like a, maybe a family type friendly Mm -hmm. feel. So maybe that's kind of a draw to it, but like what in your mind, what's, how do you look at the two and do you like kind of think of them both the same level? Like you enjoy them both at the same level or is there a, a difference between them for you? Yeah, I would, I don't know. Like I love flat track. I just like the flat track speed of it. Like that's the thing that's exciting. But like supermoto is just asphalt. You got, it's kind of like supercross jumps at some places or some motocross. I don't know. That's kind of what drew me into it is just, it's something different. And then, that correlates to like flat track because in flat track you have your tts and stuff on dirt which not good at turning right so supermoto really helped me with that since i always turn left um i I just enjoyed supermoto it's just something different that i don't think a lot of people i think they're just scared because it's like you hear asphalt and you're like "Eh." Mm-hmm. I don't. That's good. Yeah. That oh, that sounds scary. like I don't want to crash on that. You know. <laughs> yeah, and then it's like you realize that like you have like unlimited grip, and it's just like the best thing in the world. Just throwing it in sideways, knowing that you're on the verge of falling, but you're not gonna fall. Right. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Exactly. Like it's, I always kind of think of it like motocross where you get that good rut that you can rip really hard once it forms mm-hmm. the super motor. You kind of just like get to make your own rut, decide what that rut looks like. Yeah. Awesome. And it's mud. Can't park there. Brutal. Are you guys in a different lobby? No, we're just watching my live stream. Oh. Come on, Simpy. You yeah, can't find nothing on. today. Dude, you're making it so complicated. Dude, they were. I gotta click things. You remember the the ambulance getting stuck? Oh yeah, oh, that, was <laughs> that was right I in front of our the, pit. That was the <laughs> highlight of the weekend. What? Where were those those girls going? So those two girls jump in in the EMT truck and just wow, drive man. out there. There was no, no one down. They were or anything. planning on parking in the spot of the track where everybody runs off the track by accident. Yeah, <laughs> which happened to be Brady and Austin, <laughs> which you I'm went, surprised you went off there too. Me? No, Dawson. Oh, no, I... no, no. Austin oh, did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought you said you, yeah. Brady and Austin. I was like, I knew oh, Brady no. and Austin did. I'm, I'm surprised that they didn't go down. That they kept I it know. up. That's a shocker to me. I know, dude. That dirt was lime. Yeah, I remember the. First lap, you guys went out, and I was right behind you. I was like, I'm just going to pass on that dirt section. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> a bummer. Z2 were laying at the face of the double. Yeah, I was... I had, I had twisted my knee around and hurt it riding moto about a month before this race and didn't really get to ride coming into this race. My knee didn't feel great. And then I go out there, twist that knee I had hurt, like twist it around, put my heel in my ass when I went down the dirt. It wasn't a big crash or nothing, but it just like wrong leg to do that to you know. <laughs> and I was, Simpy comes by, you okay? I'm like wanting to cry, and then he weeds. And I'm just like, can we get out of this dirt section? <laughs> well, I was like, yeah, I followed you into the dirt section, saw you weed, and it it took you like I I could tell like you were a little hurt. But you were like getting up, so I rolled up. I was like, "Oh, hey, how are you? Are you, are you all right?" And then instantaneously, <laughs> just I, slammed over the face of the jump. Yeah, I wish Luckily, we had I our GoPros on. I wish we had our GoPros on for practice, dude. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe how slick it got because I had just gone out like the session before for the the lights practice, mm-hmm. and the dirt was perfect, dude. I was able to carry so much speed through that dirt section; it was unbelievable. And then I go out like 15 minutes later of very light sprinkling for open pro. And it was unwritable. I crashed three times trying to get through it once. Yeah. That clay dude. 
can. Yeah, it's definitely a bummer because that could have been such a cool venue. Like it would have been a rad weekend if it had gone as planned, had the CNS race, which is in yeah. conjunction with NASCAR. It can be a bit of a shit show if the cars are dumping oil and they're having a bunch of red flags and you're kind of at the mercy of how they how their show's going when we've done it in the past, but it's still a cool, unique experience to be at. So it's a little bit of a bummer you guys didn't get to do that. But at the same time, it's not one of my favorite tracks because those concrete walls on that car banking. Yeah. I, I think like what, that. I think what makes it cool. They did the dirt in for CNS. How well, so Colorado redid the the round, right? Let's yeah, they it. yeah they just raced this past weekend. Did and you see? I I didn't really get to see the layout. I got to see like they ran kind of a backwards configuration around the oval than I've seen in the past. So that was kind of cool to see a different layout than what I've run out there. Except I didn't really get to see what they did in the dirt. I could see pictures of people going in there, but I didn't get a story. I couldn't tell a story of how the track went through the dirt. Because there used to be a big double. It looked like that was gone. Last last time I was there, it's been like came down. Because I remember when they had the amateur series, or not the amateur series, but when I was in the amateur series, it was a big double. Yeah, were you hitting it in the AM days or no? Yeah, after it took me six or seven tries to line it up. <laughs> Cause yeah, I mean that was um I remember doing it in I'm trying to think. So I wanna say it was twenty fourteen that I let you borrow my bike. Mm-hmm. I think that sounds and, right. And so you would have just hopped on my demo Husky two fifty and probably had to do it. And then the next year I let Brady borrow it when you guys were in or did you make it to New England to race in 2015? Uh, I don't uh, think so. New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Oh, that oh. Yeah, 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 that's the weekend that I blew up the bike. Oh, did you blow up your bike? Dude, that yeah, was a fast a track. Because like, our 450s day. were wrapped. And yeah. <laughs> the 250s would have just been like, there's yeah. no way you could even gear a 250 to do that track. No, and we and see, and that's the one that I was looking forward because like flat track and high speeds. I was like, oh, this is gonna be easy. And then like I think I made four or five laps and blew it up on the like the going into the dirt. Yeah, <laughs> got, got hauled back. Were you just at the top of fifth gear, just giving it everything? Oh, I was just wide open down that back straight, just <laughs> pulled right off the track. Just puke and oil. <laughs> and I don't great. remember what what Brady did to his bike that same weekend, but I had because I was that was my first year riding for Joe, and I won the lights title the year before on a demo bike from Husky. And then the next year, my local Husky shop demoed me another two fifty, and I was gonna kind of do double duty riding four fifty and lights, but I broke both wrists at the end of fourteen. And I was not. I I couldn't even ride most of that year because of my wrist. So like that, the 250 was getting hauled to the races, and it was brand new. Like I don't think I'd even done any laps on it. In the first laps that brand new bike sees is New Hampshire Motor Speedway with Brady. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then we, <laughs> I'm standing next to his dad Brett, and we're like, we he doesn't come by. And we're like, oh shit, and then he comes by. Clutch lever snapped off, rear fenders straight up in the air. <laughs> His dad's just like, that. no. <laughs> um, oh, it's so great to see. Look at that podium. Dude, I, two young gear. Groms. Just, I just love your MVD gear. Yeah, dude. I'm they killed it. it. Yep. Rumor has it that uh, Simpy might be showing up in some MVD gear soon. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Rumors are flowing. Lucky like Foster said you're one of his uh, new riders on that canvas stuff. He told you that? Yeah. Yeah. That's well, out was, of the hat. I was gonna kind of get. We we used we used some leverage to get a MVD deal going because I mean the canvas <laughs> deal could have been cool. It could have been like my MVD stuff. But what's he gonna wear for leather pants? Is he gonna wear a competing brand where MVD makes you leather pants? Also yep. makes you custom gear just like canvas oh show 
I didn't meet some of them MVDs. Yeah. yeah. I love that picture of Austin and Paul. <laughs> There's Brady in the He was in there. <laughs> like a couple more feet and he would have been like into the <laughs> fence line and onto the road. <laughs> You guys want to rip some bikes? I got a lot of bikes up right now. If you want to join it, what's the name of the lobby you're in? SMR Magazine. Oh, Honka. I was in SMR. So, me. Was it still? That's open. still up. Chief Keith connected. We got Ponka. I've been really liking this track lately. What villa? No, no. Ponka. We're in Ponka. Oh, dude, I like Ponka. Mm -hmm. Everyone else doesn't it. like it because it's wide open. Simpy doesn't like it for that reason, but I like it because I can shred there. Is that the one we're on right now? No, we're on no. uh, Flo Villa still. I protest. Me oh, and do you and want? Do you Dob want Flow Villa or Ponka? Me and Dawson. Oh, Flow Villa for sure. My, my server. I <laughs> know. Oh. Oh well, shit. Well, hi, Simpy. Welcome. Hello. Yeah, Ponka's just one of those tracks that you can just. You just know what I, yeah, you know well, what after like two laps. Ponka? Yeah. Dude, this track is garbage. No. It's so boring. No, Simpy, you're boring. Damn. I beat old Rocky Butler here last night. He was not happy about it. <laughs> really? <laughs> And Dawson, Dawson was in the lobby oh. on 250Fs. Oh, yeah. I and was, we're on 125s. No, he, he's running around the outside of me in the corners with his arm up. <laughs> I was even on the Suzuki. I think he's a turd. Whatever, guy. Aw, oh, dude, I joined on the on the 250F. I need hey, the Welcome to the game. You guys all on 250Fs, though? Yeah. 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 This track on a 125, though? Mm. So have you been born and raised in Sturgis, Dawson? Or did you guys no. live somewhere before Sturgis? No, it's always been Sturgis. Our first house used to be the old courthouse, and my room was facing, like, the graveyard in downtown. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was, I was a little creeped out. <laughs> did they ever, like, execute anyone in that courthouse? Like, is it that old <laughs> courthouse? No, 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 not like that. Like, it was like... I mean, Sturgis was probably like... I don't know how much of a mining town or whatever it was, like Deadwood. That shit probably happened in Deadwood. <laughs> no, yeah, 100% Deadwood. They have, like, thing activities that go on. It's, like, old Western shows. And then they'll have people that go out in, like, Main Street and, like, put on a show. And, like, half the times they don't warn people. And they just pull out, like... the yeah and like they'll like pull out the old prop guns and it sounds like someone's actually shooting and you're like oh man this isn't good <laughs> then you realize that it's an old western show that they're putting on i gotta cut the track go get the johnny so what's sir just like during most of the year is it just like an awesome small town and then it's just a shit show for like two weeks during the rally it's nice. It's quiet. Like, you get through town in, like, two minutes. And then rally comes, and there's a million people here, and it takes an hour to get through town. So it's definitely a change of pace. But throughout the the years of the rally not being there, it's, it's nice. It's quiet. 
a few car chases here and there run through. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Aren't they doing something out at, uh, oh man, the Buffalo Chip for like TT or something again during the rest of this year? They were supposed to, so I was supposed to be at the Buffalo Chip like they did uh, the American Flat Track Series one year. Uh huh. Um, and then I'm not sure what happened because I was supposed to go. Terry was going to have me come test out the track. Uh -huh. um, and then I think it was just too tight of a space and I don't think things just planned out the way they wanted it to. So then it's ending up at the um, Black Hill Speedway in Rapid, which that track is so fun. So I mean, is it just an oval or is it a TT? Yeah, it's like a banked like half mile car track. Oh, oh, and it's it's fast. It's probably like the fastest half mile there is. And it's the one year that I raced it. <laughs> Funny story is I was super pumped to race it because it was my first time racing there. Um, to go out and qualify really good, like front row out of like, I don't know, 60, 50 people there. And I'm on the front row and of the semi to make it into the main and I lead it going into the first corner. And by the time the main event rolled around, I was almost dead last. <laughs> <laughs> I missed out on making that race. I was so bummed. I was like, man, I'm doing so good. I'm gonna like make it just instantly get shut down. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's awesome, though. Yeah. The ovals, dude, that's just, just like, I don't understand flat trackers, dude. <laughs> Sippy. <laughs> Sip. Oh, I just looped it. Yeah. You know, are there any, uh, like, local rippers that we could try to get race the Sturgis Supermoto round this year? I don't mean it. Uh... That's tough. I gotta, I gotta think on that. I know there's a lot of, there's some fast motocrossers. Right. Well, that's what we were saying. Like, yeah. Uh, the there's. Because that would be the one for them to do. Oh, yeah. That, I think there's, I want to say there's like four or five really fast dudes that could possibly throw down. They will, because that's all they do, they, they race like the South Dakota series. Oh man, and they're fast. Give us some bike life action, Dawson. <laughs> I don't have the bike life in me. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's my that's my bike life for the day. You gonna throw some steez? Lucky those tough blocks aren't don't got collisions. Aren't, aren't real. Oh, in my face as I look back. <laughs> I eat it myself. No, they have a big, huge uh, Deadwood deal that goes on. Like, I can't remember his name. That oh, yeah, that, it. like, Arena Cross, Supercross. Yeah. Uh, gosh, I can't remember the dude's name that runs oh. it. Uh, I'm drawing a blank for some reason. But that's a big, huge, like, big cool thing that they do out there, too. They used to do an old back when my dad was racing supermoto they used they used to do supermoto track through deadwood oh really that would have been sick yeah like you come in there's like a football field that it would go around and then you'd uh -huh. come into like where that where they had that arena cross at uh -huh. but it was like big huge super cross jumps that they would come into because you know things were gnarly back in the day yeah but yeah i remember that i was just like that'd be a cool place to have supermoto one day what was Pat riding for a bike back then? That's a good question. I couldn't even tell you. I think I'm pretty sure I was still pooping my pants. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure that's an Bro, you've been doing that for years. <laughs> yeah, nothing's changed. Reference. Yeah, nothing's changed. <laughs> no, that was a long time ago. I don't know, but he's got a CB300, like an old Honda road race that he's been working on. And they find these building again. Nice. I don't think I've ever seen Pat ride. <laughs> the one time we got Pat to ride is during the rally. And it was during the flat track at the Gypsies. Um, and he wanted himself into the wall. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Coming, yeah. Like, 
throughout his hip and everything. It was just like, oh, welcome back, pal. I don't know if I could ever get him out of retirement. I know he's like, I want to go ride some Supermoto and do stuff like that. And then he time should. comes. Yeah, and time comes and he's like, ah, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I'm like, man, come on. We all know you want to. Oh. Oh, hi. Hey, just tuck in the front. It's a casual. Are you guys going to, uh... Sorry, I'm cross-jumping the shit out of you. Nah, I can't cross in the... <laughs> oh, I'm landing on someone. Right. Drawing. Um, are you guys going to Wisconsin? The weekend before Sturgis? That's the plan. Okay. Or are and you talking about the AMA oh, one in September? Both of, both of them. Right now, the plan is to try to do both of them. Gotcha. Because, that like, is... Jay's <laughs> been... Jay with Smack's been huge on helping us have the opportunity to do this and sending us cameras to help shoot these yeah. things and be super instrumental. So we definitely want to try to do like, we'd like to do as many of his races as possible, but it's just so hard to get to the East Coast and have oh, the yeah. time with all of our schedules right now. So Wisconsin's the one we can achieve, so that's the one we're for sure doing. Yeah, And that's right before Sturgis, so I think we're going to go out to Shano the weekend before, like the week in the rally starts. And then race that weekend, do the lightning on the wolf race. And on our way back, stop in Sturgis, race the Jack Pine Gypsies motocross yep. supermoto thing. Got a gas. Ain't got no gas in it. Yeah, I, it's, I was debating on whether or not I wanted to do lightning on the wolf. It's like, the one thing I have if you yeah. if you've never done Shano, you need to try to do that. If there's any way you can get the time off to do it, you should definitely do that track. Yeah, track is gnarly. And yeah. Smek is a like I don't know if you ever really got to race with Smek either. They they put on really good events. Really, Jay runs a tight ship. Yeah, I know there was a few like we were trying to go out to Utah and do some of those rounds because like when Supermoto went to Utah, way back when. I enjoyed that. Yeah, Utah sick. Me and Simpy went a couple years ago because I was all excited to do it again. Because I hadn't done it since the AMAs. Like, I think the last one I did was in 15 that we went out there for an AMA. Mm -hmm. And, uh, dude, like, it's just, it's kind of part of the road race club now. And they treat it like road race stuff. It rained the day yeah. before. And the dirt section was going to be a little sloppy in the beginning, but it would have grooved up really nice. And they were like, nope, no dirt. And I was like, damn, we drove 10 hours to not ride dirt. And then yeah. they spent like two hours brushing dust off the asphalt to make sure like the asphalt was just no. prime to like Fast. go out there and just lay heaters down. It's like, it's green. I get it. Like, we'll figure it out. Like, it's super fun. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Do they still run the double dirt section there? No, nah, the one dirt section got wiped out because they were going to build um, garages and it never happened. So they took wow. out the good dirt section. Did you get to do both dirt sections or just one? Yeah, no, I got to do both dirt. I love both dirt. Okay, so yeah, that was definitely 14. Yeah. Because I think, yeah, you did most of 14 because I think there was like you would have you would have won the national amateur title if you had made all the races. Yeah, I think I walked to like Alkai by like five or ten points, like nothing crazy, and I missed like two rounds, I think, two or three rounds. Man, I can't believe you lost to Steve, dude. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. On Sad that day. Ape. On that. <laughs> that dude, that ape was really sick. No, dude, those things are sick. Oh no, it was cool, but it was it was a pain to race against. <laughs> <laughs> Me on my 2013 Suzuki. <laughs> Hey, man, that's pretty much a 2022. Don't shit on it. <laughs> yeah, it is the same. That <laughs> is true. <laughs> Kickstarter and all. That thing, was, <laughs> that thing sucked to kick. I'll tell you what. That thing was awful. <laughs> was it because you were 13? Or yeah, that's why I'm like, all, I'm like all skin and bones. <laughs> so, so obviously. And Good there's job, a big Sophie. board. There's a big board, Kate. In it. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't hate the game. I hate this track. 
<laughs> like go to kick the Suzuki and leg would shoot up to the moon. I'm like, oh, okay. That's, what, that's what's happening. <laughs> Has old Pat always been building you bill ass motors too? Uh, I mean, we've always had some for flat track. Is like in, when he yeah, runs. Yeah, that's like all flat track is. Flat track's yeah. fucking cheater, cheater sport, dude. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's like you gotta have horsepower. But like some tracks, you don't need horsepower. Like little short tracks, people on stock bikes can go out and dust a field of pro riders on factory stuff. So it's kind of hit or miss, but. Most of the time, she's built. Yeah, I, I think I'd be into flat track if I had, like, some small short track with, like, a bit of a cushion. Oh, That looks like it'd be fun. But, the, like, that stuff doesn't exist. In Ohio, they had, and there's a place called Lima, Ohio. It is, like, a pea gravel cushion, and it is... Oh, yeah, Lima a, looks wild. But that's a mile, is, isn't it? No, it's a half mile. It is, okay. like, it's, like, a wide open half mile, though, because you just throw it in fourth gear sideways and just let yeah, it but eat dude, that looks brutal like those dude you gotta like tape up your bikes because like your fork tubes get freaking like pitted yeah. and shit have you ever seen the photos of me after oh i don't think well i don't know if we you're were all that. like just bruised up yeah i don't know if we were that close back then but probably not oh like my <laughs> they're arm... like they're like check out this these pictures of my 14 year old all bruised <laughs> yeah. up <laughs> it's a little weird a little weird like but no, like my arms were like completely bruised. Like they were welds and they were like black and blue after just like a heat race. All right, I guess. Oh, just running over Johnny. Sorry, man. No, yeah. that single. Just by a little bit. Dude, I can't get the bike life on this game like you do. I can't do it. I got to get a flat straight. You got to send this to flat. I don't like sending that to flat. I die on the landing. See, like <laughs> you just like died. <laughs> a little bit too far. A little bit too far. <laughs> I just killed Johnny. It's a bike life on the through the pits. Oh, Sempi, like Sempi, what what track would you like? Oh, well, we should do that. Uh, the what was it? With C Zara Zara Z Zipper Zipper Zanzibar. 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 I don't think Johnny has Zanzibar. Oh. Um. Pauletta. <laughs> You always gotta love Pauletta. For the fat whips. For the scrubby dubs. Let me send it to you? Yeah. I was almost out of gas. I had 0.11 liter left. Mm. What do I push? Admin? Yep. What are we doing? Pauletta. Pauletta V2. On two strokers. Yeah. 125s. Johnny, you can say I'm too deep. Oh. I see a Simp dog. Yeah, I tucked the front on the landing. Simpy Center tucked the front? Deep. Come on. Impossible. Simpy loop out? Impossible. But Impossible. Never heard of her. Literally have never looped out a dirt bike in my entire life. Oh one. man, there was a huge lightning strike that just struck. So I, have Doss, another... I know you're all like nonchalant about racing and stuff, but was that your first pro podium? Was that race that yeah. we just watched? Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Bro. Hell yeah. Bro. So I always like would finish like seventh or eighth. I think that's where the normal was because there's always that Tucson and everybody goes to Tucson. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, I'm barely yeah, like, I'm like I don't even guys, think I'm top so. 10 when people show up. <laughs> don't shit on him, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, five people's five people. Yeah, and it's like, usually back. at Tucson, you got, dude, Dawson's given me all I want at Tucson before. I like, I've, I've gave him a run, but then I like, it's gonna happen. He just, he just, so he just doesn't, he doesn't believe. He like, he's like, oh, Butters is better than me. He just, as soon as it clicks that I'm not, Oh. then he's it, it's gonna change but no it's what it until is until then and... i can just like muscle him with 
the veteran moves like if i pick yeah. up the pace or... yeah exactly that's what it is it's like i'm catching you and then you'll pick up the pace and i'm like god damn it butters like come on let me let me catch a break here <laughs> and it's so hard because you're so good in the dirt and that's like my weakness mm. so then it's like i can kind of catch you on the asphalt and some clearance and then it's like here comes the dirt and all right well bye bye oh yeah let me just wait till we get on the asphalt here <laughs> yeah, I kind of got like a, cause like it, it's funny. I I grew up, I got my pro license for a supermoto through road race, but like, you used to road race? I didn't know yeah. that. I did yeah. not know that. I had a, one twenty five GP bike. Nice. And stuff, so that like the dude, they were sick. Like, it, they come from like HRC in Japan. Oh yeah. And stuff, and they they come with like fiberglass race fairings on them and. With a half tank of gas, the things weigh like 170 pounds, and this little mm -hmm. 125 makes over 40 horsepower. Yeah, the they're show. insane. Yeah, and uh, it was so cool to like learn road racing on a, on a 125. The only thing that sucked, there's one other 125. This like old vet dude that was a he was a shredder, but like there's this one old vet dude that I got to like race 125s with road racing. But other than that, I had to race 600s and 1000s at our local road race course. Mm -hmm. And the 125 was just automatic dead last start. So it was always just me like weaving my way through on this small little 125 <laughs> through all these 600s and thousands yeah. and stuff. And that's how I, I moved up to the expert class, got enough expert points. Cause in 2007, when I turned pro, how you got your pro card for supermoto was either through the amateur series they had following the pro series or like a NAS moto one of the big amateur series for sumo there's a couple at the time then or you did it through moto flat track or road race yeah and so i had enough expert road race points to get a pro card and then dude we had to like have letters of recommendation from like yep. race yep. officials and all that stuff like yeah you probably had to do the same stuff yep. on flat track no exactly and stuff and it was i don't know super interesting but like nowadays it's been so long since i road race and i'm i grew up as a really shitty motocrosser because i was scared like i was yeah. scared to jump i when i was a young kid and i should have been like learning to hit the ground and learning how to send i was too scared never hit the ground and it wasn't until like i was old and got buddies that were good and they helped pull me along and then i started hitting the deck once i turned pro and that's why i broke myself so many times probably <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah, now I get to kind of use like, I get like a built-in excuse if <laughs> like either way, I'll be like, oh, like, I'm just a dirt guy and a struggle on the asphalt or I can be like, oh no, I have an asphalt background. So <laughs> yeah. I, can, I can use the excuse either way. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, I just road race. There's no dirt. And like, oh, you're really good in the dirt. It's like, yeah, I just rode motocross the whole time. Yeah, just what, whatever <laughs> one I get my dick kicked on it is yeah. the one that I, you know. <laughs> You know, see, that's the nice part. It's like I didn't have that dirt experience, so riding with you guys <laughs> just helps me. Get in front of me. Pull so the heavy down you. and do. I was trying to. Tricks, but I've been getting deep into trail riding recently. Dude, that'd be super fun. fun to go trail ride. Dude, I wish we had oh, enough there's some, stuff to there's take dirt bikes out with us when we go out to do supermoto, you know, but we already got enough supermotos to haul out. We don't got room for dirt bikes. Oh, dude, there are some cool yeah. places. Because Ryan's already on his 250. So that's just wheels. Yeah, there's... If... Yeah, but my bike is not just wheels. <laughs> yeah. Right, but then that's <laughs> more bike. Mm, I see what you're saying. No, the, me and Corey Brink and his kid and some others, like every Monday night go and rip trail rides through like Piedmont and the Black Hills. Oh, they is some cool stuff and some stuff is like vertical Marley. through rocks yeah and i'm yeah, like I, I can only imagine seeing the terrain out there like driving through it a little bit i can't yeah. imagine like the trails out there that's gotta be sick the last yeah. one uh I, the last one we went on like dropped through a ravine and then you shot up this huge like rock wall and i just hit it as hard as i could and it shot me to the moon almost into the tree and i'm like all right i know my limit now like <laughs> I don't want to end up into a tree and broken bike. It's fun. There's some cool trails. A lot of single track. So 
So it's just cool to rip through the trees kind of fast. Yeah. Have you ridden Sedro much out here, Butters? Uh, no, not really much at all, dude. I know that stuff's kind of cool, but like, I don't know. I just always just, I'm so stoked on all my local stuff all the time. <laughs> it's just like, but this is the type, the time of year to go this day, Joe. It's Especially freaking hot in place. town. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. I'll take you there. I've done it more on uh, pedal bikes than I have on dirt bikes. And from what Thomas has told me, a lot of it's the same up there. Mm-hmm. You could just bring the old 150 out. One, is it 150 or 125? No, I got a 125. Yeah, just bring the old 125 out. Dude, I saw, like, because, like, Simpy got a street bike, and then I was, like, looking at street bikes, and I got a new bike itch for no reason mm -hmm. and stuff. And so I was like, oh, like, what would be a cool street bike? And it's, like, the 690 Wrong. Supermoto, like, <laughs> it doesn't look, like, it's expensive. I don't know if it would really be that fun. Get the, and, the Supermoto Gas Gas. That's the same thing. It's that 690 motor. Oh, it is? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, it's a 701, 690. And that oh, thing. yeah, yeah. It's I all the same you. bike. But, like, I mean, they're cool. Like, I like I wouldn't say it wouldn't be fun to be out, have on the street. For sure it would. But then I saw, like, I was like, well, I have supermoto wheels. Like, what if I had, like, a street legal KTM and just, like, had... Because I'd mainly just use it for around town commuting, you know? But, yeah. like, have a legit supermoto. <laughs> and I was looking at KTM, dude. For their off-road models that come with like lights and everything, the XCWs, they got a 150 XCW that's direct injected, like uh. the like my 125 now for the 24, and then 23 it was still the old carbureted one, and so like this year it's the fuel injected one. I was like, oh man, look at that oh. new beautiful bike. And you could like put supermoto wheels on it and just have a 120 or a 150 fucking legal ripper that'd be pretty tight uh, that'd be pretty cool I'm not but lie. it it would cost as much as a 690 because that xcw for a 150 is like over 10 grand oh wow oh, goodness i know i saw the price tag and i was like dude my 125 is like msrp <laughs> <for> like <laughs> seven nine you know or, yeah <laughs> it's like eight grand but just like for a 125 you're like fuck and then you see that xcw 150 like over 10 g's i was like oh my god are you on the grid, Butters? Shit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah two seconds. Ha. <laughs> ha. What, what, what did you get, Simpy? What street bike? Uh, Ducati Hyperstrata. Oh, you, yeah. you like bougie bougie now. But that's kind of a cool bike. Dude. I was like thinking about it because like the Hypers don't have the most comfortable stance and stuff. And then the Stratas were like, woo, Johnny. Ooh. Oh shit! Holy, holy yeah. Oh, as I tucked the front. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know you guys hit me. Oh, it threw me so off. <laughs> that fogged me so hard. The rollers. Simpy, I need you to pass me here. If I can follow you. Ooh, that was hot. I love that thing, dude. Oh, that's. But the that's old cool. multi stratas were like these cool but weird like Ducati sport tours, yeah. And then yeah. they kind of phased out, or they changed the. I don't know if they took the hyper away or just combined it with the strata, and you got the hyper strata, so it's like this real aggressive sport touring bike. Yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah. So he's gonna come back and be tomorrow. like, "I tried a supermoto, and it didn't go well." <laughs> but it still has like some supermoto like influence into it, so it's pretty hot boy. So B, you just gotta watch out for the the sealed spots. Yeah, those are yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I know now. <laughs> Low side the Ducati. Dude, no, Simpy <laughs> used to have a R one on the street, dude. No he way. Was, yeah, was he was page. that he was that stereotypical kid on an R one that shouldn't have been on R one. <laughs> but you're like, oh this kid's gonna end up killing himself. Yes. Yeah, his mom was probably at home just praying like nonstop. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah. Where you guys is? Oh, I'm taking that outside. Yeah. 
That's my ammo. I got stuck Let's in it. Let's get a regroup, regroup for Johnny. Do it on the wall. Oh, I'm gonna throw steez on the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna throw steez on the wall. Let's throw it together. All three. Oh, I didn't. Well, I had to go. You. I had to go the you other way. Did. And I you hit did. The <laughs> Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Interesting. Break. One eight break. technique. Brakes are a little touchy on the 150. Oh, some steez coming out of J Bang. Let's play Don't Pass Johnny. <laughs> That's fine with me. That's the game we play on one wheels when we have like a slower person in our group on group rides through the trails and we'll just put the slow guy up front yep. and we all just end up trying to take each other out on the trail <laughs> is there some pretty good one wheel tracks down there oh unbelievable really yeah dude like we live right on the rio grande and there's so many cool like river single track trails and it's just like pretty flat so you just got like roots and just little mud hills and stuff to deal with but like yeah. nothing too gnarly so it's like the one wheel just thrives in it Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I shorted that. How you up. doing there, Johnny Bang? <laughs> that 250 got more power. All right, I'm gonna catch the flow. Is that, that's that team jerk pick right there for the photo shoot. I was all bonered out. <laughs> that's fine. Ooh. I don't know how <laughs> I said that. Right at the fence. Oh! How did I save that? <laughs> you think a lot of people will show up to Sturgis this year after seeing what it was like last year? Um, I don't know, honestly. Like, the grids have been so small. Like, the rain didn't help in Colorado, for sure. No. But, um... A lot of, like, I talked to Timmy about what the turnout looked like for the CNS round they had last weekend. Yeah. And he said it was over, like, 30 racers, so I was like, hell yeah. Well, that's a lot. Yeah. And, uh, because we only had, like, five or six Whoa. Colorado guys, I feel like, come out and race last race. Yeah. Um, maybe it was up to, like, eight or so, but, I mean, I don't know. I felt like I was expecting the pits just to be full of the Colorado guys, and they just, it wasn't, I so. I think, I think a lot of them, it was... The, I think the rain played the big part because a lot of them don't have rain tires, I feel like. Yeah. And the cut slicks in those conditions are no yeah. match for a rain. No, yeah. Because Simpy yeah. tried that day two. Yeah, yeah no the way. day that we left. <laughs> yeah. That day. Yeah. Fuck you for that, Dawson. <laughs> I, you know, was, I'm glad. Two of the, two of the top guys that were like making the 450 look good stuff, you guys were just like, no. Nah. You know, it was downpouring that day, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to cover it at some point. Cutting? What? Yeah, cheater. We're in a race. Damn, cheater ass. <laughs> yeah. Get your big boy 150 out of here. Dude, what did you do to get 10 second cut on Pauletta? <laughs> <No. laughs> Jump the fence line. Did you have to hard reset? No. I'm gonna cross jump you so hard. That was hot, boys. Oh, I just pushed Simpy's rear end. <laughs> oh, I stayed up that somehow. Was awesome. <laughs> I stayed up. No! Uh, I think I can hit this double from the outside. Yes. <laughs> no <Nope. laughs> He could eat. <laughs> There's a slight possibility. Oh god. Oh hey. Oh boner. I just shredded that corner dog. You didn't Man. want none. I helped out of it. Oh, I see you, Johnny. Sorry. 
<laughs> I just look back. I look back and I just see you just spouted out sideways. I'm like, oh, he's throwing steez. No, I'm. T I was touching you. Oh, really? I caught up to you in the air and you like slowed me down. And you got me <laughs> off the face. Dawson just straight airing into the backside of Simpy. <laughs> he cross jumped me. Run, run the replay footage. Instant <laughs> replay it. <laughs> run it back. <laughs> okay, when they're in the race. Is this final lap? Oh, is it? No. Oh, or, no, 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 it no, it's counting up now. I think we have a lap. I think this is the last turn. There's one more. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting you to be there. <laughs> oh. Really? Man, you get like a rocket ship out of that corner. Oh, this is the last lap. Alright. Send it, Sempy. Mean Doss got battle out for a second. Whoa! Getting. <laughs> I cry <can't> jump. <laughs> <laughs> you threw some steez in my face. <laughs> oh, I said that was some hell. What? Yeah. <laughs> What's that yummy strength? And Barkins. Take him out, Butters. Take him out. I pretty much thought I did it. I did <laughs> it. Now he's up my butt. He thought he did, but he didn't. Sippy, you want to take Butters out for me? No. Sippy doesn't want to risk losing out. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> On the other side of the fence! <laughs> oh. You wheel it into the face. I'm gonna try to jump back on the top of this hill. There's no way you can jump back on. No! Oh. <laughs> J Bang might get third. Going for the podium. Depending on how my penalties go for that. <laughs> 25 seconds. And I have ran out of gas. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. <laughs> that was beautiful. You, you love to oh, see boy. it. <laughs> Ten second cut. That's a good time to run out of gas. Tell you what. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> Should have jumped off the track. Dude, that's going to be close to 10 seconds. Yeah. Oh, dude, I barely beat him by three tenths of a second. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's impressive. Moto 2. Yeah. 